The Lapland War Finnish, Lapin Soda, Swedish, Lapland German, Lapland was fought between Finland and Nazi Germany effectively from September to November 1944 in Finland's northernmost region, Lapland, during World War II. Although Finns and Germans had been fighting the Soviet Union USSR together since 1941 during the Continuation War, the Soviet Vyborg Petrozavod's offensive in the summer of 1944 forced Finnish leadership to negotiate a separate peace agreement. The Moscow Armistice demanded Finland break diplomatic ties with Germany and expel or disarm any German soldiers left in Finland after 15 September 1944. The Wehrmacht had anticipated the turn of events and drawn up plans for an organized withdrawal to German-occupied Norway called Operation Birch. Despite a failed offensive landing operation by Germany in the Gulf of Finland, the evacuation proceeded peacefully at first. The Finns escalated the situation into warfare on 28 September after Soviet pressure to adhere to the terms of the armistice. The Finnish army was required by the USSR to demobilize while at the same time pursuing German troops out of Finnish soil. After a series of minor battles, the war came to an effective end in November 1944 when German troops had reached Norway or its vicinity and took fortified positions. The last German soldiers left Finland on 27 April 1945 and the end of World War II in Europe came soon after. The Finns considered the war a separate conflict because hostilities with other nations had ceased after the continuation war. From the German perspective, it was a part of the two campaigns to evacuate from northern Finland and northern Norway. Soviet involvement in the war amounted to monitoring Finnish operations, minor air support as well as entering northeastern Lapland during the petsamo kirkenis offensive. Military impacts were relatively limited with both sides sustaining around 4,000 in total casualties. Although the Germans delaying scorched earth and land mine strategies devastated Finnish Lapland. The Wehrmacht successfully withdrew and Finland upheld its obligations under the Moscow Armistice, although it remained formally at war with the USSR and the United Kingdom until ratification by the 1947 Paris Peace Treaty. <laughs> Prelude Germany and Finland had been at war with the Soviet Union USSR since Operation Barbarossa began in June 1941, co-operating closely in the Continuation War and Operation Silver Fox with the German 20th Mountain Army German, 20. Gebirgsarmee stationed in Lapland. As early as the summer of 1943, the German High Command Oberkommando der Wehrmacht OKW began making plans for the eventuality that Finland might negotiate a separate peace agreement with the Soviet Union. The Germans planned to withdraw their forces northward in order to shield the nickel mines near Petsamo Russian, Pechenga. During the winter of 1943–1944, Germans improved the roads from northern Norway to northern Finland by extensive use of prisoner of war labour in certain areas. Casualties among the laboring prisoners were high, in part because many of them had been captured in southern Europe and were still in summer uniform. In addition, the Germans surveyed defensive positions and planned to evacuate as much materiel as possible from the region, and meticulously prepared for withdrawal. On 9 April 1944, the German withdrawal plan was designated as Operation Burke. In June 1944, the Germans started constructing fortifications against a possible enemy advance from the south. The accidental death of Generaloberst Eduard Dietl on 23 June 1944 brought Generaloberst Lothar Rendelik to the command of the 20th Mountain Army. After the devastating Soviet strategic Vyborg Petrozavod's offensive in southern Finland from June to July and a change in Finnish leadership in August 1944, Finland negotiated a separate peace agreement with the USSR. The ceasefire agreement required the Finns to break diplomatic ties with Germany and publicly demand the withdrawal of all German troops from Finland by 15 September 1944. Any troops remaining after the deadline were to be expelled or disarmed and handed over to the USSR. Even with the German withdrawal operation, the Finns estimated it would take three months for the Wehrmacht to fully evacuate. The task was further complicated by the Soviet demand that the majority of the Finnish defense forces be demobilized while conducting a military campaign against the Germans. Before deciding to accept the Soviet demands, President Carl Gustav Emil Mannerheim, former Finnish commander-in-chief, wrote a letter directly to Adolf Hitler. Our German brothers-in-arms will forever remain in our hearts. 
The Germans in Finland were certainly not the representatives of foreign despotism but helpers and brothers in arms. But even in such cases foreigners are in difficult positions requiring such tact. I can assure you that during the past years nothing whatsoever happened that could have induced us to consider the German troops intruders or oppressors. I believe that the attitude of the German army in northern Finland towards the local population and authorities will enter our history as a unique example of a correct and cordial relationship. I deem it my duty to lead my people out of the war. I cannot and I will not turn the arms which you have so liberally supplied us against Germans. I harbor the hope that you, even if you disapprove of my attitude, will wish an endeavor like myself and all other Finns to terminate our former relations without increasing the gravity of the situation. Topic. Order of battle Topic. German The 20th Mountain Army had been fighting the Soviet Karelian Front since Operation Barbarossa along the 700 km stretch from Aulu River to the Arctic Ocean. It now comprised 214,000 soldiers, a considerable amount of them under SS formations, led by General Oberst Rendelich. The number of active troops decreased quickly as they withdrew to Norway. The army had 32,000 horses or mules and 17,500 to 26,000 motorized vehicles as well as a total of 180,000 t short tons in rations, ammunition and fuel to last for six months. The army was positioned as follows. 19th Mountain Corps German, 19 Geberg Skorps in the far northern Petsamo area beside the Arctic Ocean. 36th Mountain Corps in the area of Sala and Alakirti, Eastern Lapland 18th Mountain Corps was in charge of the southern flank at Kestenga and Utua. <laughs> Finnish The 3rd Corps Finnish, 3 Armejakunta, 3 AK, led by Lieutenant General Halmar Sialavo gradually shifted from the defence of the Vyborg Petrozavod's offensive to the latitude of Aulu and was fully repositioned by 28 September. The 3rd Corps consisted of the 3rd, 6th and 11th Divisions as well as the Armoured Division. Additionally, four battalions formerly under German command were converted into separate detachments. Two regiments, Infantry Regiment 15 and Border Jaeger Regiment, reinforced the 3rd Corps. In total, Finnish ground forces in the Lapland theatre were 75,000 strong. The number of Finnish troops dropped sharply as the Germans withdrew and the Finnish army was demobilized. By December 1944, only 12,000 were left. Due to this, the Finnish soldiers were mostly conscripts, as veterans were transferred away from the front. The latter part of the war was therefore dubbed the Children's Crusade Finnish, Lasten Ristiretki in Finland. Topic. Phases of the war Topic. Evacuation and naval operations in September The announcement on 2 September 1944 of the ceasefire and the Moscow armistice between Finland and the USSR triggered frantic efforts by the 20th Mountain Army, which immediately started Operation Burke. Large amounts of materiel were evacuated from southern Finland and harsh punishments were set for any hindering of the withdrawal. The Germans began to seize Finnish shipping. Finland responded by denying ships to sail from Finland to Germany and nearly doomed the materiel evacuations of Operation Burke. So the order was rescinded and then the Finns, in turn, allowed Finnish tonnage to be used to hasten the German evacuations. The first German naval mines were laid in Finnish seaways on 14 September 1944, allegedly for use against Soviet shipping, though since Finland and Germany were not yet in open conflict, the Germans warned the Finns of their intent. As the Finns wanted to avoid devastation of their country, and the Germans wished to avoid hostilities, both sides strove for the evacuation to be performed as smoothly as possible. By 15 September, a secret agreement had been reached by which the Germans would inform the Finns of their withdrawal timetable, who would then allow the Germans to use Finnish transportation for evacuation as well as to destroy roads, railroads and bridges behind their withdrawal. In practice, friction soon arose both from the destruction caused by the Germans and from the pressure exerted on the Finns by the Soviets. On the 15th of September 1944, the Kriegsmarine tried to land and seize the island of Sursari in Operation Tan Ost to secure shipping routes in the Gulf of Finland. 
The USSR sent aircraft to support the Finnish defenders and the Kriegsmarine failed to capture Sursari. After the landing attempt, a Finnish coastal artillery fort at Uto Island prevented German net-laying ships from passing into the Baltic Sea on 15 September, as they had been ordered to intern the German forces. On 16 September, a German naval detachment consisting of the German cruiser Prinz Eugen escorted by five destroyers arrived at Uto. The German cruiser stayed out of range of the Finnish 152mm guns and threatened to open fire with its artillery. In order to avoid bloodshed, the Finns allowed the net layers to pass. In response to the German operations, Finland immediately removed its shipping from the joint evacuation operation, but the evacuation from Lapland to Norway progressed according to the secret agreement. The last German convoy departed from Kemi in northern Finland on 21 September 1944 and was escorted by submarines and, starting from south of Åland Islands, by German cruisers. <laughs> <laughs> Initial land battles in September and October The lack of Finnish aggression did not go unnoticed by the Allied Control Commission monitoring adherence to the Moscow Armistice and the USSR threatened to occupy Finland if the terms of expelling or disarming the Germans were not met. Thus, Lieutenant General Sialavo ordered the Third Corps to engage. The first hostilities between the Finnish Army and the 20th Mountain Army in Lapland took place 20 kilometers 12 miles southwest of Pudisjärvi at around 8 o'clock on the 28th of September 1944 when Finnish advance units first issued a surrender demand and then opened fire on a small German rearguard contingent. This took the Germans by surprise as the Finns had previously agreed to warn them should they be forced to take hostile action against them. After the incident, partial contact was re-established. The Germans told the Finns they had no interest in fighting them, but would not surrender. The next incident took place on 29 September at a bridge crossing the Olava River between Kemi and Aulu. Finnish troops, who had been ordered to take the bridge intact, were attempting to disarm explosives rigged to the bridge when the Germans detonated them, demolishing the bridge and killing, among others, the Finnish company commander. On 30 September, the Finns attempted to encircle the Germans at Pudisjärvi into a pocket called a Mahdi in Finnish, originally meaning one cubic metre 35 cu feet of firewood with flanking movements through the forests and managed to cut the road leading north. By then, however, the bulk of the German force at Pudisjärvi had already left, leaving behind only a small detachment which, after warning the Finns, blew up a munitions dump. The risky landings for the Battle of Tornio, on the border with Sweden next to the Gulf of Bothnia, began on 30 September 1944 when three Finnish transport ships SS Norma, SS Fritz S and SS Hesperus departed from Aulu towards Tornio without any air or naval escorts. They arrived on 1 October and disembarked their troops without any interference. The landing had originally been planned as a diversionary raid, with the main assault to take place at Kemi, where the Finnish battalion-sized detachment Peninen, Finnish, Osasto Peninen was already in control of important industrial facilities on the island of Ahos. Various factors—including a stronger-than-expected German garrison at Kemi already alerted by local attacks— made the Finns switch the target to Roita, Tornio's outer port. The Finns initially landed the Infantry Regiment 11, Finnish, 11 of the 3rd Division, which, together with a Civic Guard-led uprising at Tornio, managed to secure both the port and most of the town as well as the bridges over the Tornio River. The Finnish attack soon bogged down due to disorganization caused in part by alcohol looted from German supply depots as well as stiffening German resistance. During the ensuing battle, the German divisions group Krautler, a reinforced regiment, conducted several counterattacks to retake the town as it formed an important transportation link between the two roads running parallel to the Kemi and Tornio rivers. As ordered by Generaloberst Rendelich, the Germans took 262 Finnish civilian hostages in an attempt to trade them for captured soldiers. The Finns refused and the civilians were later released on 12 October. A second wave of four Finnish ships arrived on 2 October and a third wave—three ships strong and with Brewster F-2A fighter escorts—landed its troops with only a single ship being lightly damaged by German Stuka dive bombers. On 4 October, bad weather prevented Finnish air cover from reaching Tornio, leaving the fourth landing wave vulnerable. Stuka bombers scored several hits and sank the SS Boriks and the SS Maininki alongside the pier. 
The fifth wave on 5 October suffered only light shrapnel damage despite being both shelled from shore and bombed from the sky. The Finnish Navy's gunboats Haminma, Usama and VMV class patrol boats 15 and 16 arrived with the sixth wave just in time to witness German Focke Wolf FW 200 Condor bombers attacking the shipping at Tornio with Henschel H's 293 glide bombs without results. Arrival of naval assets allowed the Finns to safely disembark heavy equipment to support the battle and around 12,500 soldiers in total arrived during the landings. The German forces were reinforced by the 2nd Company of Panzer Abteilung 211, two infantry battalions and the MG Ski Brigade Finland. The Finnish Infantry Regiment 11 was reinforced with Infantry Regiments 50 and 53. The Finns beat back German counterattacks for a week until 8 October, when the Germans withdrew from Tornio. Meanwhile, Finnish troops were advancing overland from Aulu towards Kemi with the 15th Brigade making only slow progress against meagre German resistance. Their advance was hampered by the destruction of roads and bridges by withdrawing Germans as well as a lack of spirit in both the Finnish troops and their leaders. The Finns attacked Kemi on 7 October, attempting to encircle the Germans into a Mahdi with a frontal attack by the 15th Brigade and an attack from the rear by Detachment Pennanen. Strong German resistance, civilians in the area, and looted alcohol prevented the Finns from fully trapping all the Germans. Though Finnish forces took several hundred prisoners, they failed to prevent the Germans from demolishing the bridges over the Kemi River once they began to withdraw on 8 October. From the start of the war, the Germans had been systematically destroying and mining the roads and bridges as they withdrew in a delaying strategy. After the first hostilities took place, General Oberst Rendelik issued several orders on destroying Finnish property in Lapland. On 6 October, a strict order was issued which classified only military sites or military necessities as targets. On 8 October, the Germans bombed and heavily damaged factory areas of Kemi. On 9 October, the demolition order was extended to include all governmental buildings with the exception of hospitals. On 13 October, all covers, installations and objects that can be used by an enemy were ordered to be destroyed in northern Finland in a scorched earth strategy. Though it was logical for the Germans to deny pursuing forces any shelter, it had a very limited effect on the Finns, who always carried tents for shelter. Topic. German withdrawal effective by November When Allied advances continued, German High Command OKW and 20th Mountain Army leadership asserted that it would be perilous to maintain positions in Lapland and east of Lingen municipality in northern Norway. Likewise, Minister of Armaments and War Production Albert Speer had determined that German nickel stores were sufficient and holding Petsamo was unnecessary. Preparations for further withdrawal began. Hitler accepted the proposal on 4 October 1944, and the plan was codenamed Operation Nordlicht on 6 October. Instead of a gradual withdrawal from southern Lapland into fortified positions further to the north while evacuating materiel, as in Operation Burke, Operation Nordlicht called for a rapid and strictly organized withdrawal directly behind Lingen Fjord in Norway, while under pressure from harassing enemy forces. As the Germans withdrew towards the town of Rovaniemi, a road junction point in Lapland, and Norway, movement was mostly limited to the immediate vicinity of Lapland's three main roads, which constricted military activities considerably. In general, the withdrawal followed a pattern in which advancing Finnish units would encounter German rear guards and attempt to flank them on foot, the destroyed road network preventing them from bringing up artillery and other heavy weapons. As Finnish infantry slowly picked their way through the dense woods and marshland, the motorized German units would simply drive away and take up positions further down the road. On 7 October, the Finnish Jaeger Brigade forced the German Mountain Regiment 218 to fight a delaying action off of their pre-set timetable at Wailama, some 65 kilometers 40 miles south of Rovaniemi. The opposing forces were roughly even numerically and the lack of heavy weapons and exhaustion from long marches prevented the Finnish brigade from trapping the defending Germans before it received permission to withdraw on 9 October after causing substantial losses to the Finns. On 13 October, the tables were turned at Kivitaipale, some 20 kilometers 12 miles south of Rovaniemi, and only a fortuitous withdrawal by the Mountain Regiment 218 saved the Finnish Infantry Regiment 33 from being severely mauled. 
The German withdrawal allowed the Finns to surround one of the delaying battalions, but Mountain Regiment 218 returned and managed to rescue the stranded battalion. The Germans initially concentrated on destroying governmental buildings in Rovaniemi, but the fire spread and destroyed housing beyond that. German attempts to fight the fire failed and a train loaded with ammunition caught fire at the railroad station on 14 October, resulting in an explosion which spread the fire throughout the primarily wooden buildings of the town. The first Finnish units to reach the vicinity of Rovaniemi on 14 October were components of the Jaeger Brigade advancing from Ranua. The Germans repelled Finnish attempts to capture the last intact bridge over the Kemi River and then left the mostly scorched town to the Finns on the 16th of October 1944. Finnish demobilization and difficult supply routes took their toll. At Tankavara, 60 kilometers 37 miles south of Avalo, barely 4 battalions of the Finnish Jaeger Brigade attempted unsuccessfully on the 26th of October to dislodge the 12 battalion strong German 169th Infantry Division entrenched in prepared fortifications. Finnish forces gained ground only on the 1st of November when the Germans withdrew northward. Likewise, on the 26th of October at Mawonio, 200 kilometers (120 miles) southeast of defensive positions in Norway, the German 6th SS Mountain Division Nord, reinforced by Kampfgruppe Esch, again had numerical and material superiority with artillery and armored support. This prevented the Finnish 11th Division from gaining the upper hand, despite initially fairly successful flanking operations by infantry regiments 8 and 50. The Finns planned to isolate the SS Mountain Division, marching from the direction of Kitila in the southeast, before Mawonio and thereby entrap it within Amadi. The delaying action by Kampfgruppe Esch and the destroyed road network thwarted the Finnish strategy. The Soviet Karelian Front, led by General Kirill Moretskov, initiated its Petsamo Kirkinus offensive and started pushing the 19th Mountain Corps towards Norway from Soviet territory along the Arctic coast on 7 October. By 25 October, the front captured the Norwegian port of Kirkenes. The 14th Army pursued German troops withdrawing southwest from Petsamo and Kirkenes approximately 50 kilometres into Finnish territory along Lake Inari. By 5 November, Soviet reconnaissance troops met with the Finnish Army at Avalo. Likewise, the 26th Army had followed the withdrawing 18th Mountain Corps around 50 kilometers (31 miles) over the Finnish border in southern Lapland to Kuusamo and Suomasalmi, but left the area in November. The Soviet troops in Avalo did not leave until September 1945. For most practical purposes, the war in Lapland concluded in early November 1944. After holding Tankavara, the Germans swiftly withdrew from northeastern Lapland at Karagaznemi on 25 November 1944. The Finnish Jaeger Brigade pursuing them had by then been mostly demobilized. In northwestern Lapland, only four battalions of Finnish troops were left on 4 November and by February 1945, a mere 600 men. The Germans continued their withdrawal but remained in positions first at Poloyoensu village, 150 kilometers 93 miles from Norway, in early November 1944. From there, they moved to the fortified Sturmbach Stelling position along the Latezino River, 100 kilometers 62 miles from Norway, on 26 November. The German 7th Mountain Division held these positions until 10 January 1945 when northern Norway had been cleared and positions at Lingen Fjord were manned. On 12 January, the Finnish minelayer Luhi was sunk with the loss of its ten sailors in the Gulf of Bothnia by the German submarine U-370 using an acoustic G-7S torpedo. Some German positions defending Lingen extended over to Kilpisjärvi on the Finnish side of the border, but no major activity occurred. The Wehrmacht completely withdrew from Finland by 27 April 1945 and a Finnish battle patrol raised the flag on the three-country cairn between Norway, Sweden and Finland to celebrate the end of the wars. <laughs> Aftermath The 20th Mountain Army successfully withdrew most of its over 200,000 men as well as supplies and equipment from Lapland to continue defending occupied Finnmark from the USSR. According to American historian Earl F. Zimka, it had no parallel as an evacuation across the Arctic in winter. The casualties of the conflict were relatively limited, 774 killed, 262 missing and around 2,904 wounded Finns. 
Germany experienced around 1,000 deaths and 2,000 wounded. 1,300 German soldiers became prisoners of war and were handed over to the USSR according to the terms of the armistice. The German delaying operations left Lapland devastated. In addition to 3,100 buildings demolished elsewhere in Finland, estimates of destroyed infrastructure in Lapland are as follows. 14,900 buildings representing around 40-46% of Lapland's property. 470 kilometers 290 miles of railroad 9500 kilometers 5900 miles of road 675 bridges 2800 road storm drains 3700 kilometers 2300 miles of phone and telegram lines the reconstruction of lapland lasted till the early 1950s although the railroad network was not functional until 1957 in addition to the demolished infrastructure, the Wehrmacht extensively laid mines and explosives in the area. By 1973, over 800,000 cartridges, 70,000 mines and 400,000 other explosives had been demoned in Lapland, a total of 1,142,000 units. See also Notes Topic References Topic Citations Topic Bibliography Topic Finish Otto, Sampo, nineteen eighty Azeveljet Vastakane, Lapin Sota 1944-1945 Brothers in Arms Opposing Each Other, Lapland War 1944-1945 in Finnish. Helsinki, Kurjaitima. ISBN 978-951-26-1726-5. Arella, Veli Tukasta Nusi Lapi, Lapin Jalinrakantamista Sanwan Ya Kuvan in Finnish. Lapin Makantalito. ISBN 9519947086. Elfvengren, Eero 2005. Lapin Soda Ya Sen Tuhat. In Leskanen, Jari, Judelinen, Antti. Jatkosodin Pikuyatalinen in Finnish. Werner Soderstrom Osakishio. ISBN 978-951-0-28690-6. Kalyaniemi, Yoni Lapin Soda 1944-1945, Sursodin Lapinados Pojoacesa in Finnish. Tiaspiste. ISBN 952-90-1285-3. Kajanin, Kalervo Suomen Levasto 1918-1968-2 in Finnish. Helsinki, Mariupsiridistis, Atava. ISBN 978-951-95298-2-0. Kurinma, Pekka, Lentila, Rita. 2005. Soden Tapiot. In Leskanen, Jari, Judelinen, Antti. Jatkosodin Pikuyatalinen in Finnish. Werner Soderstrom Osakishio. ISBN 978-951-0-28690-6. Navakivi, Juka. Donov Suomessa minus Mixi Meta A Nuvastalitalistitu? In Finnish. Atava. ISBN 951-1-13274-1. Ursin, Marty Pojoas Suomen Tuhat ja Jalinrakenis Soxalesodin 1944-1945 Jalkin in Finnish. Pojoas Suomen Historialinen Yhdistis. ISBN 951-95472-0-7. Jowett, Philip, Snodgrass, Brent 2012. Finland at War 1939-45. Bloomsbury Publishing. ISBN 9781782015500. Gebhardt, James F. 1989. The Petsamo Kirkinus Operation, Soviet Breakthrough and Pursuit in the Arctic, October 1944 PDF. Combat Studies Institute, U.S. Army Command and General Staff College. 
ISBN 9781780392000 Topic: Early Life of Napoleon Bonaparte The Naval War in the Baltic 1939 to 1945 Seaforth Publishing ISBN 9781526700000 Jacques Tony 2007 Dictionary of Battles and Sieges, P.Z. Greenwood Publishing Group. ISBN 9780313335375. Lundy, Henrik O. Finland's War of Choice, The Troubled German-Finnish Alliance in World War II, Newberry, Casemate Publishers. ISBN 978-1-61200-037-4. Nenye, Visa, Munter, Peter, Wirtanen, Tony, Burks, Chris 2016. Finland at War, The Continuation and Lapland Wars 1941–45. Osprey Publishing. ISBN 1472815262. Lindgren, Peter 2015. World War II in Europe, an Encyclopedia. Routledge. ISBN 9781135812250. Tomasic, Earl F. 2002. Stalingrad to Berlin, The German Defeat in the East PDF. Center of Military History, United States Army. ISBN 1780392877. Further reading Kulyu, Mika Kassavaran Soda, Lastin Ristirekki 1944–1945 in Finnish. Gummeris. ISBN 9789512408962. Kulyu, Mika 2011. Minojin ya Rajadidan Siviliurit Pojoas Suomessa 1944-1949 in Finnish. ISBN 978-952-93-0414-1. Wendish, Irja 2006. Salatut Lapset, Saksalaisatileidan Lapset Suomessa in Finnish. Ajatas Kurjat. ISBN 951-20-7065-0. External links Finna Search Service for Information from Finnish Archives, Libraries and Museums Finnish Wartime Photograph Archive under CC by 4.0